a partial part of it. Uh, but you can see that this is quite possible and then automatically it's going to be just doing like the media query for you, per, the kind of thing, you know. Uh, we can stick with that access for this uh, purpose because the list that we can assign is going to be just the access and then, you know, just all of them. If you haven't assigned anything, that this is going to be just the uh, determining factor, whether you are using it for the desktop or even anything for a tablet or anything of that kind. So now we have like for the second one, you can see that we have uh, a part which is going to be just on the left and the other one is going to be just on the right and the, the left one is going to be just smaller because we have provided like the excess which is going to be just um, three for the first one and then excess nine for the for the next one. So, uh, so far we can see that we have accomplished this thing and this is we have just started on it. And what we do is on the second part of like the, the column, we can go ahead and then just create yet another row on this one which would be containing like the first and then the second one is going to be just another row which has like two columns in it and in order to do that then we can come here and then we can say row and we can take this thing out actually we can get back to that so that's going to be just easier to work with and we're going to get back to it and we can say row and under this one actually we need to have like the column as well that's why it's complaining so i have like the row and under the row i can say call and first row content and i'm going to have yet another row and under that i'm going to have a column uh, left a part and i'm going to have this one as right part and if i save that and go back to the app uh, co maybe this one needs to be l let's call is there anything that i missed somewhere i think that's it and if we refresh that then you can see that first row on the top is going to be just there and uh left part was going to be just on the on the lower part of it's going to be just happening so for the first, if we provide like the content that we had earlier, oh, not this one, uh, but rather this one, I can copy that and I can paste it here. And if we go back to the application, then you can see that the top part of it has been applied in such a way. And if we apply the same thing uh, for probably we can have, I'm sure that should be fine. Uh, for this one, for the left part, the same thing, and for the right part, also the same thing, then you can clearly see that um, the content is uh, looking more or less what we have over here. Of course, we might need to have like spacing, like margin and padding and whatnot, but you can see that uh, there is a part which is on the left, there is a part which is going to be just in the, in the top, and then there is like also the top one and the left and the right. Actually, let's do a little bit of like um, a style on that one so that we can uh, see it like clearly. We can use the the style, uh, let the you know like the inline style on this one. So I can say a style, and for the let's start with this title. So which is on the top, I can say title. And uh, for that, I can make it like take us. Uh, center of oh, online line to be uh, center center still center sorry about that and uh, we're going to have like let's say margin top to be let's say 10 pixels and margin bottom to be also 10 pixels and if I assign that to this one, style equals style that title. And if we do that, then you can see like some of it's going to be just in the middle. And then even we can make it like a little bit more, which is a font weight bold. And maybe a font size to be uh, 16 pixel. 
then that way it's going to be just a little bit wider and then you can see it like it's going to be just on top or we can give it also like the uh, a color and whatnot. And if we want to have like the, the right one to be just shown like a little bit, um, a little bit like on its own uh, format, then we can see what we can do is we can provide, let's give it a name of the uh, right top, uh, right, right top. And for that, what we want to do is let's have it like a little bit of a padding or yeah, we can do like a padding uh, on all side and let's do it 10 pixel. And probably that should be good enough. And we can also give it like a border of one pixel, sorry. Yeah, let's give it like one pixel uh, solid and uh, brown. And we have to apply that one right top which is going to be this one. Uh, I can say style equals uh, uh, style that right top, right? So, oops, this one is, I have applied it like the other way. Uh, not this one, I can take that out. And this is going to be for this guy, which is style equals that. And you can see that we can have that one. Actually, we can take that out. Like this is not that good to look at it. So you can see that there is a clear space between the two and you can make like the same spacing on this one so that the alignment is going to be just the same. Um, and now you have an idea, like uh, it, it was all crammed up and then it was, it was difficult to see it. But now you can see that we have actually implemented the part that we were trying to do that one, except the last part of like the, the row or the, um, sorry, like the, the footer. And we can implement that one with very is, and we can have like another row and we can say and call uh, footer goes here. And that should uh, do the trick. And if I go here and footer goes here and we're going to implement like pretty much the same thing on that one to make it like the center and just to, or to have it on the phone, just, just to make it like a clearer, I can say style equals style that title. And it's going to make it, you know, like the footer is going to be just in center and probably it's going to have like its own kind of color. And now, now you have an idea that uh, on how we're going to be just doing the uh, the the style based on our, or the, sorry like the layout using the uh, bootstrap and then just to make it like the way we want it to to appear so you can have like most of the time it's advisable to have some kind of like a, a sketch on what kind of like the layout you want to be doing it then you can follow up with that one and uh, bootstrap has make it like much much easier and the good thing about that one is it's going to be uh, automatically almost most of the time it's going to be just responsive and easier to, to be displayed on any device. Um, with that, we can uh, conclude what we have for on or how we're going to be just doing like the, um, the layout using the bootstrap. And I'm going to see you with the other videos. And if you haven't done that, just uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel as well. I thank you very much for your attention and I'm going to see you on the next video.